Hi guys, I just wanted to introduce you to my parakeet buttercup and I let him out of his cage and I'm probably going to be sorry that I did so because now I'm probably not going to let him be able to get him back in his cage but I just wanted to um, I take him out when I'm cleaning this cage and give him love and I give him kisses and love and and let him um, spread his wings a little bit um, so I got him in the bathroom here so at least he's pretty much contained and um, sometimes I give them a bath and put them under the sink the faucet running a little bit um, I have another parakeet his name's Calypso and he just you can't if you try to hold him he bites so hard that he draws blood so I don't handle him very often and if I do have to handle him it's usually like he's in a towel or something where he can bite onto that but um, Buttercup here has always been a sweet birdie He's never bitten. He try like if he, he beaks you like with his beak, but he doesn't bite. I mean, he doesn't put much pressure, so I can handle him pretty easily. And I hand fed him. I had him from a very baby, baby, baby birdie, and <clears throat> actually, he was he used to eat out of my hand. Um, so yeah, he's a he's a pretty sweet birdie. He's probably gonna fly though. I don't really. Yeah, there he goes. Ooh, he's up on the mirror. I don't have him trained to like come to me so he he likes to fly around and it's he's hard to catch so that's why I, I don't take him out very often because it's hard to catch him once he's out but you know he enjoys spreading his wings and flying a little bit and I don't clip his wings I don't clip my parakeets wings because I I just I don't know I think that they need to be able to fly in case ever they ever got out out of the house by some accident or whatever that they were able to fly and get away from predators and things like that. If you clip their wings, they're not able to do that. They can't fly. So that's, I don't, a lot of people do clip their parakeet's wings, but I've never been one to do that. So, hey buttercup, aren't you a pretty birdie? Hey, you pretty birdie. Chicken hen, he's my chicken hen. Pretty bird, pretty bird. I managed, oh, I managed to capture him. I got him in my hand and put him back up there. I had him in my hand. Kind of try to get him to go on my finger, but he doesn't want to. <laughs> He's jerking. He is, he is. Look, you see, he remembers. He remembers how to be a good birdie. Yes, that's a good birdie. He's a tame birdie. We used to practice this at one time, and then, I don't know, we stopped for a while, and but he stayed pretty tame. I couldn't do this with Calypso, and I'll show you Calypso when I put Buttercup back in his cage, but Calypso is just, I don't know, he's so wild. You can't hold him, you can't. He would not go on my finger. I bet you would even go on my shoulder, wouldn't you? Aren't you my pretty bird? Yes, you're my baby bird. Yes, he's a sweet bird. Yes, he is. He's a sweet bird. He's my sweet bird. <laughs> yes, he's my sweet bird. He's my sweet bird. Yes, he is. He's just the best bird in the world. He is. He likes to be petted. You just, um, if you're trying to get a birdie to go on your finger, best not to, like, put your hand, like, up and over their head because they think it's a predator coming down, you know, to grab them. So the best way is like that, you know, when they can see. Actually, you know, their eyesight is not all that great. As you think that they, they would have good eyesight, but they don't. No, they don't, do they? <laughs> He's just a beautiful birdie. And he gets along with my cat, and he gets along with the dog, and he doesn't seem to mind anyone. And he loves his companion, who is Calypso, and I got Calypso so he would have a companion because they don't like to be alone, these birdies. But look how he's so sweet and so tame. I mean, he just lets me give him love, and he doesn't bite hard. He just nibbles at you. 
But Calypso, from the day I got Calypso, he was not, he was not a friendly bird. He, he just, I don't know. Some birds have better disposition. I, I tried to get Calypso to eat out of my hand when he was a baby, and he did. I mean, for, he started to, but he just, I, he wouldn't, he never, I never got him tame like this. And if I try to hold him, he bites. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not wanting to get myself bit by Calypso just for the sake of making a video. So we'll keep Calypso in his cage and we'll just let Buttercup come out. Yeah. Yes, we'll let Buttercup come out. Come on. Yes, we will. Yeah, we'll let Buttercup <laughs> He doesn't want to be taken away from the perch. He don't want to be taken away from the perch. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't. He's just my baby. I just want to give him so much love. It's like when you have a little animal like that. Where did you go? You come back. <laughs> you went behind that towel. Are you trying to hide from the peoples? Are you trying to hide so the peoples can't see you? Are you trying to hide so the peoples can't see you? Oh, yes. You're trying to hide so the peoples can't see you. <laughs> You're sure such a handsome boy, aren't you? You're such a handsome little boy. Yes. He's yours, my baby bird. He's my baby. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He's my baby. Yes, he is. He's my baby. Mm -hmm. Come on. He doesn't even want to come up onto my hand. Like, he doesn't want to leave that towel. <laughs> he likes that towel. He likes that towel. He'll let me pet him. He'll let me pet him. But he doesn't want to come on my finger. Why does not he want to? Yes. <laughs> come on. Just sit up on my hand. Let's see. Smile for the camera, pretty bird. I got him sitting on my shoulder, and he's been sitting up here for a few minutes calmly, which is, I haven't had him like this in a while, so it's pretty cool to have him on my shoulder. Calypso. Okay, here, Calypso. Look at the pretty birdie in the mirror. Look at Buttercup. Isn't he a pretty birdie? Yes, he is. You can hear Calypso chirping and chirping and chirping. I bet you want to go back to your cage and back to Calypso now, don't you? I wish I could have them both out at the same time. I wish I could have um, Buttercup here to like, sit on my shoulder when I do my chores and go around the house. That would be pretty cool. And also, I wish that I could take him out in the van. Wouldn't you like to come out in Butterfly? Yes, you'd like to come out in Butterfly Van, wouldn't you? You, me, and baby Snow Dog, and we'll, we'll, we'll do our videos and our adventures. How about that? <laughs> so he was such a good boy for me. Ah, oh, and he wants to go back in his cage now, so we're gonna, we're gonna, there, put him back in. And now he's back in, you're back in your cage with Calypso, and there's Calypso. And he is one mean birdie, I'll tell you. He will bite you so hard that he will drop, I mean, he'll take your damn finger off. So we're not even going to experiment with him. We'll just say hi from a distance to Calypso. But, um, yes, there's my chickadee right there. He's my baby birdie. He's so sweet. He's the sweetest birdie in all the world. Say bye-bye, birdie. Say bye-bye, buttercup.